let alone chipping, we are of one mind. Yes, boys, I'm as upset as you are. But boys, we've got to think of a plan. We must have a plan, though, boys. Do we want chips? Yes, we want chips. Yes, we want chips. Do we rally? Yes, we rally. Yes, we rally. Yes, we rally. Yes, we rally. Are we ready? Yes, we're ready. Is there not enough talk of fighting in the world? Sir, we're having a convocation to prevent your departure. That's right, sir. Oh, really, Atkins? All of you. That is most kind. But I, I fear you mustn't. But, sir... No, sir. the headmaster has spoken. He is charged with running and improving the school. His authority cannot be questioned. We must have hierarchies in life. We must have points of reference. I thank you, but you must dismiss, sir. Ron. Cousin, have any need of a slightly experienced Latin master? My dearest Chippy, I greatly appreciate the sacrifice you have made, in part because of me. But you must retract your position. I beg of you, reconsider. Please do it for me. Late, I fear. Marvelous friend. Please take good care of yourself. He has become a focus of discontent. The boys are open and rebellious. I've known him eccentric, but I've never known him dramatic. Suppose we were to allow a limited number of bursaries, would that sway him? You mean I should back down? No, 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 my dear fellow. Would the governors wish me to surrender to his insubordination? No. No, of course not. The governors do understand. It's just... I just worry. You see, Chips has taught generation after generation of some families. I showed him round here on his very first day. Sir John, the school, and I do mean the boys and the masters, are all aware of this confrontation. We're chipping to be reinstated. My authority... gone. No leader governs by ultimatum, as I'm sure you know. But in this case, I fear it has come to a choice. School. Good morning, school. Good morning, headmaster. In the few weeks since I've been headmaster, we've achieved a great deal. But there's more to be done. Some of you may recognize our guest this morning. Pleasant surprise, the chairman of our governors, Sir John Rivers. And I'm sure that he will have a few words to say to us about the necessary changes which Brookfield must now embrace. Sir John.
Good morning, gentlemen. My time at Brookfield shaped my life, and I'm pleased and proud to be here today to acknowledge that. The headmaster has spoken of change, and we must all embrace change, however unpleasant. But we at Brookfield must also be aware of that sense of continuity, that sense of tradition, that has made us what we are, Brookfeldians. As you are aware, one of the pillars of the school has been your and my Latin teacher, Mr. Chippy. You are also aware that we have been in danger of losing him. I now invite him to change his decision and to confirm that he will stay with us by leading us all in the school prayer. You've done that for yourself. Come on, sir! Yes, sir! Chips! 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 Shine your light on Brookfield School, on her teachers, and on her students. Grant us the enlightenment of eternal knowledge, that we may proceed along a path of learning that has been illuminated with your grace. Amen. Amen. I always recognize a collie. How are you, sir? Oh, my dear fellow. Mud is grey. Not brown like ours. They make sucking noises. Sucks men down. Not supposed to drown in mud. Supposed to drown in water. Lost a boot, sir. You stepped on something. There's a body, sir. Ministry in London, but we have indeed ploughed our playing fields. We now await their directions as to which crops we shall be required to grow. Oh, hey, ah. uh, gentlemen, Evans, Mr. John. Hello, sir. Right. Oh, it's young Sexton, isn't it? Yes, it is. A bit more down to earth than I remember. Yes, I avoid roofs, sir. So good to see you. Well, shall we all sit down? Mm. Mr. Chipping, we want to thank you. Since Mr. Ralston decided to rejoin his regiment, you've accepted additional responsibilities at a difficult time, and we appreciate all of your efforts. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we know that retirement could and should be your reward. But my fellow governors and I would like formally to offer you the position of headmaster of Brookfield. It's an appointment that's long overdue. I shall.
shall be honored. Centipede, calendar. Please, sir. All these pigs. Uh, uh, sir, I fag for battles. Oh, 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 please. Don't tell me, calendar. And do you know why the quartermaster had a wooden leg? <laughs> <laughs> sir? It must. Oh. Beckles, make me some toast. Uh, Lancaster, see if you can't put a shine on these pigs. Sir, we don't fag. We're not... Precisely. Nobody fags for me, and I'm more senior than you. Pass it on. Wretched war has taken such a heavy toll on everyone. There isn't an easy way to say this, Morgan. I've received news that your father has been killed in action. I'm so sorry. I feel certain that he made a fine soldier. He was a fine student. Brilliant linguist. He spoke perfect German. He had a good teacher. I hate Germans. I hate them all. <laughs> 